Number 8 then from the 2017 Advanced Air Maths. Here we go, the Euclidean algorithm for 4 marks. Bit of a plod, but usually it's a kind of guaranteed 4 marks, isn't it? Use the algorithm to find integers a and b that solve this equation, this what's called a Diophantine equation, which is really just an ordinary linear equation where you're only interested in solutions which are integers. Well, pop it down then. How many times does that go into that? Obviously just the ones. And how many would be left over? Now, I know you could do it in your head, but you're going to be using your calculator for this, aren't you? So I'll just do it. 1595 five minus 1218 one, gives me, and I just did a subtract there rather than a divide. And then you start again. 1218 one, will be 377 seven, multiplied by, or times, whichever is your favourite. Hey. And then you press this button and you get disappointed because it doesn't come up with a fraction with 377 in the bottom because, maybe as this was a clue, these numbers aren't co-prime. They've obviously got some factor in common. There is a greatest common divisor. Your calculator knows that and it divides by it and thwarts you. It stops you using that wee fraction button. The wee button where you can just do shift fraction and it will give you the mixed number with the number of times it goes in and the remainder. So now you've got no option but just to find out what the whole number was, subtract it away and then multiply what's left against the number. Rotters, so that was 87. And then you start again. A little bit more disheartened than before. And I forgot what that number was. I seem to remember it was a three. It'd have to be a three because it couldn't be a four. Four times that would be too big. Three. So now it's 87. So 377 divided. And once again, it's a four this time. And that leaves 29. There you go. That's probably it. In fact, that is it, isn't it? That's three of them. Do you do now? 87 is three times 29, as the calculator knew all the way along, plus zero. So I know my greatest common divisor. It doesn't ask you to state it, though. I'll put it down anyway, using this bracket notation. 1595, 12, 18. Greatest common divisor is 29. 29 divides into both of them. That's the biggest number that will divide into them both. So, 29 is equal to, here we go, 377 minus 4 times 87. I can go to this line now and replace the 87. So it's 4 times 12, 18 minus 3 times the 377. So I've got another 12 of these. So I've got 13 of the 377 and 4 of the 1, 2, 1, 8. Now I can go to this line, the last line I can do a substitution from, and change that 377. 1, 5, 9, 5, minus 1 lot of 12, 18, minus the 4 I've got already, 4 lots of 12, 18. And then altogether I've got 13 times 1, 5, 9, 5, minus 13, minus another 4, minus 17 lots of 1, 2, 1, 8. And the handy thing about this question is, you can check if you've got the right answer. Multiplying this out should give you 29. Critical moment. There it does, 29. Yes, it does. Right, but the question didn't say just do that, it said what's A and B? So, finally, A was the multiple of 1595, that's a 13. B was the multiple of 1218, but that was plus, so it must be negative 17. These pens are rubbish, I think. <laughs>